Foot Knight, a class that is often skipped because, well, he's seen as not being able to do enough damage, particularly when compared to Mercenary and Grail Knight. Well, let's see about that. But first, we're going to talk about him. His passive ability, Protective Presence, is an aura that reduces damage taken by 15%. Pretty nice. Tank class, he's going to have some damage reduction. His career skill, Valiant Charge. Marcus charges forward, slamming into hordes and knocking them back. A simple dash that knocks things over. Pretty effective, honestly. He's also got Tal's Fortitude, Extra Stamina Shield, and No Guts, No Glory. Reduces damage taken by an additional 10%. As you can see, I'm using the newest weapon of his, the Spear and Shield. For that, we're going to want Staggering Enemies for Temp Health. This is really good. You can just do a couple pushes with your shield, and even some enemies that you attack and do not kill will give you uh, quite a bit of Temp Health, and there's no limit on this like there is with Damaging for THP. Although this is still a pretty good option, I think Back Off Ugly is a little bit better. On his second line, you have Havathi. This is a very good talent. Staggering an elite increases power by 15% for 10 seconds. So this is really good, especially on those higher difficulties of Legend and Kata, where you see more and more elites, uh, even on Deeds, by the way, like the Vanguard, where everything, every Roman en roaming enemy is an elite. Uh, this is very good for that. Ups his uh, damage potential real quick. Uh, now the Spear and Shield is a little bit slow, so... Uh, if you want to take something like Crowd Clearer, pushing an enemy increases attack speed by 15% for 3 seconds. I can see that, but we're going to talk about that a little bit later as to why we don't really need it. And down here, Enhanced Power is your best option. Increases your total power level by 7.5%, uh, not 7%. This is calculated before other buffs are applied. Um, basically, you're just taking this because it's better than Mainstay, and it's much better than Bulwark. Uh, these two are kind of crappy options for dealing melee melee damage, uh, and with your with this one you get a uh, stagger boost, you get range boost, you know, a little bit extra cleave as well. It's just nice to have. And then down here, this is really where the damage comes from. Comrades in Arms, Kruber gains 10% increased power. The closest ally to Kruber gains 50% damage reduction and 10% increased power. Passive aura from Protective Presence no longer affects allies. So the damage reduction is only for you now, but you're kind of giving one person 50% damage reduction, which is insane, and power. So Comrades in Arms, certainly a very good talent. And with this and Havathi, that's right, 25% increased power, all calculated after your enhanced power boost of 7.5%. You're going to be able to stagger pretty much anything. It's pretty good. And then down here, probably the best talent in his entire lineup is It's Hero Time. Resets the cooldown on Valiant Charge when an ally is incapacitated. So, say you do a dash or something, and then immediately after you ult, you know, one of your allies is grabbed by an assassin. Well, you know, if you have Counter Punch or Inspiring Blow, which... I don't know why you would take this. Counterpunch. You know, well, crap, I just used my ult. How am I going to save the guy? Boom. It's hero time. 30 seconds, 40 seconds, not a problem. You have your ult back. Dash again. Knock everything over. Save your teammate. This is a fantastic talent. Especially for your ultimate down here, Bull of Ostlin. Each enemy hit with Valiant Charge grants a 3% attack speed for 10 seconds. Stacks up to 10 times. That is correct. You could have potentially 10 seconds of 30% attack speed. Combine that with Swift Lang for an additional 20% when you crit, and I'm pretty sure that's the maximum amount of attack speed that you can get in the entire game, making the quote-unquote too slow Spear and Shield now perfectly viable, and hence why we're, why we're not taking Crowd Clear, because we just don't need it. We've hit the max. For the gear, of course, the Spear and Shield. Power Chaos, crit chance to help proc that Swift Slang, and of course, Swift Slang as our trait. Critical hits increase attack speed by 20% for 5 seconds, an absolutely phenomenal trait. Um, pretty much my go-to for most weapons these days. Allows the uh, Spear and Shield to have, you know, attack speed when uh, you don't have your ult up, and when you do have it up. Very nice. 
The ranged weapon is the repeater handgun. This is probably his best ranged weapon. He does have a regular handgun, which is pretty good on Legend. I uh, don't think it scales up particularly well on Kata, so I just go for this one. This one allows you to kill specials, kill elites, and help out with monsters a little bit. Ground you're on the trait. Critical hits restore 5% of maximum ammunition. Can trigger once per attack. Allows you to get some of your ammo back and keep on shooting. For my necklace, I go for 20% extra health and 30% block cost reduction because you kind of need a little bit of defense. And it's always good to have more health. And then bark skin as well. Taking damage reduces the damage you take from subsequent sources by 40% for 2 seconds. The effect can only trigger every 2 seconds. So... On the, say you take a hit, that next hit, the second hit you take, that you get like stabbed twice or something, is a 40% damage reduction on top of this, and protective presence, and, you know, it's pretty good. He's going to be able to tank quite a bit. For my charm here, I've got power versus chaos for a little bit extra damage to the higher health enemies. Attack speed, I know I hit the max when you use Bolvasan and you're critting, but for those moments when you don't have your ult up, it's nice. Personally, I think it's nice to have that little bit extra attack speed. just makes the weapon feel nice when you're not getting those crits. It's not too slow. And then Proxy is very good. Decanter is also very good on him. With a purple potion, you can stun lock a monster. Um, but Proxy, I've been loving lately. It's just so much fun to be able to give someone uh, like a speed potion and then you both just run through the map or Proxy somebody a purple and benefit from their ult, you know, it's really good. And then for my trinket, crit chance, stamina recovery, and shrapnel, this would be a kata setup for legend, just get rid of that stamina recovery and put curse resistance in there, or simply get rid of that crit chance and just put curse resistance in there, either way you want to go is fine with me. One thing to mention about the spear and shield is it has an alt fire mode, that is correct, you can attack while blocking, much like the rapier, um, similar to the bill hook. The bill hook has a weapon special, but it's a it's a pull down versus uh, an actual uh, blocking attack. But the spear and shield can do that, and it's of course spear, so it's a finesse weapon. Gets much much benefit from hitting those headshots. This is a really fun weapon. I love it on Footnight, and I think it makes him uh, that much better of a class.